Hey, everybody. Welcome to Sama. I'm Derek Mazzoni, your host. Appreciate you being here. I have a special guest tonight. Her name is Hanya Rani. She's born in the same city that I was born in, in Gdansk, uh, Poland, uh, in um, a little area on the Baltic called Temiasto, which is uh, Gdynia, Sopot, and Gdansk. It's a beautiful place. It's a different part of Poland. It's, was, uh, it's got um, interesting weather. It's a very much an international part of the place. But yet at the same time, as I often talk about here, anytime I visit, I feel I'm back home. It's a really strange sense. I'm with my tribe, which is an intriguing place, and I had a sense of home, which is one of the things we're going to be talking about with Hanya also. She's an award-winning pianist, composer, and musician. She was born in Gdansk. She splits her time between uh, Warszawa and, um, and Berlin. Um, she's coming up. She's coming up um, in that kind of interesting way where you're like, whoa, this is going to be really intriguing. Um, she's 31 years old. And um, she's getting a lot of attention from people that go way beyond classical, electronic, jazz. Um, she's got a nice touch that seems to be affecting people in interesting ways. Um, also, her music is, uh, um, is powerful yet very subtle. She recorded in Iceland. Anytime I say Icelandic music, people have a sense of what they're going to hear. fits within that. Um, but when her music started going out, we were under lockdown. And um, everybody needed it. You know, uh, as you've been listening and hearing and seeing me, I put together a 500-song playlist on Spotify, all for music just to help us through the insanity. And she's in there. And it was great to have her actually be here and have a session with her on Sama. She gave us a video. Um, as often artists do. So we're going to watch this video of her work. She's touring right now. We're talking in Montreal, and she's going to be in the Emerald City, Seattle. She's playing on Friday, July 10th, at St. Mark's Cathedral, which tells you something. She's going to play at Fremont Abbey, but she's got some heat, so people wanted to put her in a, um, a bigger place, and it's a cathedral. It's stunning sound. I think she's going to love it. I'm going to love watching her there. So, um, she is working um, all the time. She's working on a, a bunch of new music. During the pandemic, uh, obviously a lot of artists composed. Um, I listened to a bunch of interviews with her, and she's diligent and she's disciplined. Uh, it started at an early age, and she dedicated, dedicated herself to music, to piano. And it's wonderful to have an artist like this to actually talk about their life. So right now, music from Hanya Rani on Sama. See how circuit music and art. Thank you. 
Hi, Hania. How are you? Uh, hello, I'm I'm fine. Hello from Montreal. <laughs> hello from Montreal. Um, that introduction, did it work for you? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I'm a fan. Um, I love your work, and your music did help a lot. You know, we were all under lockdown. You must get this a lot, a lot, but I'll say it again. Um, and you know, I play music for my family. I'm a DJ, so often, you know, somebody comes in and starts going on. You know, I think something better would be here. So I'm usually that guy, like, <laughs> no, let's play this record now. And your music was really beautiful and really helped. And so, um, but you you created these this with. Uh, you studied, you know, this, this didn't come just like, oh, I have an idea, let me throw this. I could hear, you know, Chopin, I could hear Iceland, I could hear all of these things, I could hear Niels, I could hear uh, the music that's coming out of Berlin right now um, in your work. Let's go back to the beginning, if we can, because I always start with this question. Why music? There are so many things to do in life, mm -hmm. you know, and they're all great, one form or another. I'm glad you're doing music, but why music? Yes, it's it's a bit of coincidence because uh, my parents actually are not musicians, but music was always very important um, part of everyday life. So basically, they they both love music, and uh, also my father plays on all the instruments. Uh, so basically, music was something that was happening, although it was not professionally uh, perform or or professional making music, but also uh, in my hometown Gdańsk that you mentioned before, there was a really good music school. Like in Poland, we have still these schools that are quite professional, so they 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 can really um, they have this very professional uh, structure of um, of learning uh, music. It's the same with dance and sport as well. Mm -hmm. So once you get to this school, you have a normal subjects like maths or biology or stuff, but they are mixed uh, uh, with with some music um, subjects like instruments, choir, and and many others like music history and hear improvement and any any kind of this. So I just passed exam to this school and they thought I would stay there for like just in a primary school but I fell in love in piano and fell in love in music and I decided to stay through the whole education period so till my um, last uh, exam and uh, till the end of the high school and afterwards I decided to continue and I uh, passed, uh, passed the exams to music university in Warsaw and afterwards in Berlin and uh, so 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 basically since i was seven i continued till till now so you know that takes a lot of discipline a lot of willpower and, and most people don't have that to start from seven i mean i wanted to be an astronaut at seven and but you said like okay i want to do this what is it about that what is it about um that connected with you in some form or another um, to continue and to grow with that. And, you know, the, the focus of my show is, is, um, is a music with intention. So it could be anything, f all types of genres, but a music that you're expressing something of yourself that isn't so much ego-driven. It's like, oh, my God, look at me. I'm so beautiful. Here I am. I am a <laughs> god. But you're sharing something of yourself. And music, I find, is one of the uh, few art forms that connects people in really interesting ways. You know, people could be at a show, I say this a lot, and suddenly a musician makes everybody in the room fall in love with them, with, with each other. And there's something about that form that creates this. And you have that in spades. There's probably something in Polish with that. that but like, you bring that in. And when people, uh, I'm going to be looking at my fellow audience members and saying, what are they feeling? What's happening here? You know, it's been a difficult obviously two and a half years before that you're, you're playing in a country that's going through a lot of interesting political changes right now and as a musician as an artist a uh, young one but as a music you know it's done the work you're creating a tapestry that people are going to find themselves in that does that make sense 
Yes, of course, I believe it uh, very, very much. And also I'm reading recently, I was reading a book uh, by Kay Tempest uh, from Great Britain. She's like a poet and hip hop artist. And she was also like uh, explaining a lot about this connection that, that you also mentioned uh, just now, because this is like the most, I think, special part of making music or making art, but music in particular, because we meet with audience and we actually uh, really can and feel and observe this connection and 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 basically something very special happens to to all of us not only the audience but actually to the artists as well when experiencing together something mm -hmm. uh, which is art which is which is uh, actually uplifting us and 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 I hope that changing us for better and uh, expanding our sensitivity and and empathy and, and things like this um, so basically, well, I, I guess uh, discipline is very important, but you need to love what you do to stay so long with one instrument and with music and for such a long period of time. So simply I I fell in love with with, uh, with my instrument, with, with music, and I found myself, um, I guess it's, it's become my language as well. I'm here with Han Gerani from Gdansk, Poland, now living between Berlin and Warsaw. Amazing pianist whose work I like a lot. And we're just talking about the power of music. And you were bringing up Kate Tempest. And um, we had a little bit of an issue. So if you don't mind, could you please repeat what you were saying about how people come together in community when they, um, through music? Yes, I was talking about Kate Tempest, about her most recent book about, it's called On Connection and she's describing there a lot of her experience as well, what she's experienced as, a, as an artist, a performer, uh, being on stage through many years and this is what actually I was also experiencing and I was thinking about what's actually is happening really when we all gather in this one place and we go to the concert, we listen to the concert, I perform as an artist and I and we connect in a very very special way because first of all we focus on the same things we are here and now even if, if we have you know phone with us or something we we cannot actually a little bit skip the room so there is some very special I think uh, even happening and and I think also we there is something about like being together in kind of a communi community and being together in a moment and, and she was also in the book explaining for example sometimes when we listen to the music together even our pressure uh, is on the same level or our heartbeat is like beating very similarly like uh, together and the same if we are in a cin cinema watching together movie or watching a theater play and i think this is like something that you cannot it's a bit unspoken you cannot explain it but you can definitely feel it and this is somehow why we still want to um, enjoy live performances we we want to be part of it as artists and as well as an audience and, and and this is something very very important in the times that we are a little bit disconnected from each other because there are smartphones there are mm -hmm. screens and all of these and we we really miss to be connected and and to be part of of something 
your music kind of bridges that in a really interesting way and it's totally true you know i have i have children and uh, their role with social media is is intriguing and we have been in situations where people are checking something out on their phone instead of watching what's going on certain artists create a texture that puts this down you want to participate there's something that happens that um uh, allows you to not be distracted anymore and sometimes it's loud and just overwhelming and sometimes it's very soft and very subtle and you fall within that camp and it becomes really interesting where you have this power um, that power comes from your study and your work you come from a country that has a very complicated history and uh, but also has a really powerful uh, legacy in the arts uh, whether it's music or cinema or uh, or painting there's there's something about that there's something tied to the Polish identity uh, I'm older than you I grew up when Poland was under communism and when I moved to the United to, to North America I came with a whole bunch of baggage of what it, what it meant to be Polish what it meant not to be Polish Poland is in a completely different place right now it is it's um, on many levels, economically, culturally, politically, it's a completely different place. And as an artist from this country who spends half their time there, I'm curious how much of your sense of identity goes into your music. Some musicians, classical musicians, doesn't matter where they're from. You know, they could be from central China and they're doing amazing, you know, um, uh, Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, you know, Brahms. They're, they're, it doesn't matter. They're, they're amazing. But what role does that play? What role does your identity, your nationality, your history play in the music that you're making? Uh, I think basically you cannot... Um, well, your identity, you, you cannot cancel it somehow. Yeah, mm -hmm. You can feel it. And there are some uh, mechanism or, or some uh, kind of behavior that it will be always a part of where I come from and as you as you mentioned also the history and my background the way of uh, how people behave how we are uh, also behaving towards each other of course the huge generosity of arts and music especially of course for for myself because I was studying for many years classical music Frédéric Chopin and all other um, composers are very, very important for me. And I, and I, even if I would like to unlearn this, this will be always part of my my roots. And I, I, I just I feel like I, I, I want to understand it and I want to expand it because I. Thanks to my label as well, which is based in Great Britain, and I'm a little bit more connected also to other countries, not only Poland, because of my management and, and, and booking agent and anything going on and being part of a project that are a little bit more international. I still want to be and want to what what I want to deliver to people as well, me as a Polish person, so also a girl from Eastern European with all heritage that it brings also with a quite a difficult history and very complicated but also being a little bit part of eastern world eastern europe but also of the western world and and this transition and also very important part that we simply i come from a way more poor country than it's france or great britain or germany so we also um maybe this as you mentioned, discipline and ambitious comes from there because we need to be way more um, productive and and we're way more hardworking to get to the level that our friends from Western countries are already. And and that's maybe and it's it happened even on a higher level during the communist times when people didn't were not able to. Um, to 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 have a budget as as other countries had for for any kind of production or or music or to record in a professional studio or to use the best instruments we always had to you know figure out different uh, differently but I think it also makes you more creative at some point and yeah. 
and 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 this I don't want to cancel this part of 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 myself, and I want to develop and and bring as much as I can in a in a natural way because also because of a you know worldwide web and the internet reality that we are now living it. It's actually also you are. Um, immediately, instantly, a, a part of the global network, not only, not only of your own uh, country or region in a world. But I, I really would love people to, to maybe learn a little bit uh, from where I come from and and what is this part of Europe. And it's still, uh, I feel like it's it's still very, very, very much different. Although it's developing very quickly and we are economically on a higher level than it used to be 30 years ago, but I still feel it's it's very much different culture than yeah, the Western no. world. So two things on that. You're absolutely right. Um, and the cities are developing. But once you step outside the cities, it's a different world out there. You know, uh, I visited my grandmother's farm outside of Womja and you could be in West Virginia, you know, it's like <laughs> it was it was difficult. The cities are are um, are pretty advanced and interesting, especially after the EU uh, came in. But you also have a pretty significant um, expat population of Poles. You're going to see a lot of Poles coming to your shows. <laughs> You're going to uh, Poland has adopted you, you know, in your bio. Um, you are you are a daughter of Poland and you are an artist of Poland. So that's like a big, big deal. You know, you, you, you it's an interesting place. You know, when you study somebody like Chopin and people are y using your name in the same sentence with him, what's that feel like? Oh, it's, I'm honored and it's, of course, I, I'm a bit uh, too lucky to be mentioned in the same line. But sometimes, uh, yeah, it's 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 happening. Uh, I'm I'm very grateful. I think I come from a country with a very interesting uh, history, and and culture, and and still it's an interesting place to be. Uh, so I'm quite grateful, and I love that we have also so much of like that our roots come from. Sometimes um, it's difficult to say if we are just from Poland. For example, my grandparents come. From uh, now, it it would be uh, Lithuania. It used to be part of Poland because also the borders were were moved after the shifting. second. Yeah, so it was shifting a bit. So I think um, it's it's very interesting to to know that things are were not always as we know them now, and and yeah. and and simply what is border is sometimes very uh, artificial. Uh, yeah. at some point. Every 
Uh, my kids, my daughters are half Polish. Uh, I married an American woman, a great woman. Um, and they always question, like, you know, where am I from? Well, I took them back and we went to Krakow, Gdynia, uh, Warszawa and Katowice. We went down for the Off Festival. You remember, the, you know, the Off Festival? Yeah, Katowice. we I Arturo performed Arturo. there as well. Oh, beautiful. Arthur does such a great job with that because it was an interesting experience for my kids who only experienced Poland from the city perspective to see these old Polish bands. These old that that legacy, but not you know Babcia, Jadek, but like young people like themselves, just going out there rediscovering that music, rediscovering their roots. And you probably know the history, like under communism, it was like this is your music. Don't listen to the West; that's corrupt. And then when you know when the wall came down, everybody was like, I don't want to listen to that communist crap. I want to hear our version of the Smiths and New Order and like. And now it's rediscovered again, like Warsaw Village Band, Sutadi and others have come back again. So that sense of identity, that sense of like connecting to something, doesn't have to be a country, doesn't have to be like Poland. You're right, it's like Lithuania, Belarus, Minsk, you know, so the, the, they shift. But that sense of like who you are from almost like a tribal perspective and almost like a sacred spiritual perspective. Because one of the things that struck me when we were there, we went to all the churches because they're everywhere. And the music that was played there, and I was trying to explain to them that, like, look, you have to understand, for a long time, Poland wasn't a country. You know, it was the Habsburgs and the Russians, etc. And so people held on to their religious beliefs, their music, their culture, and they held on to it as long as possible because there was nothing else for them. They had no place to call, that's my home, that's my identity. So I always ask artists that come from places like this, it doesn't matter to be Poland or other places, you know, I'm talking to Ukrainian artists right now, and this is real life for them. They're not sure if they're going to have a country. Um, what does your role as a musician performing and playing this? I'm not saying that you're creating, you know, anthems for like identity, like you're hearing artists in Ukraine right now, but in just thinking about that context that like as a musician, as an artist, you're creating work that hopefully will outlive you and will be, you know, this is immortal kind of stuff. How does that history of where you are, all the stuff I'm talking about, and what you're making, does that play a role in your head at all? Or am I am I just off base? <laughs> uh, it's, it's difficult to say, but I think sometimes I, you know what I realize and talking about the church, also all these melodies that we, like Pol Poland is a very Catholic, Catholic country. So we all, most of the people attend to any kind of ceremonies or, or kind of this. And I sometimes, for example, by coincidence and realize that I am, uh, applying this little church melodies in my music as well just unconsciously so i think it's uh, there is and also like this whole thing about um, sacral uh, spiritual part of life which is very important and which actually i feel like it's enriched me so much of course there are there are also some disadvantages of, of being so much settled in a tradition and, and, and Catholic church, but also this way of uh, observing and receiving, receiving, receive the, the reality uh, from a spiritual way of thinking. It's the same, I think, what's, what's like heritage of Middle Eastern cultures and that they are always connected with some kind of religion. It, it makes us think about uh, about art in a different way and also we probably always tell a little bit different stories because the the current history the, and the contemporary also politically but on, on many many different levels um, history is happening right now and uh, for example now when, when, when the war in Ukraine is going on it's not something very far away it's ex actually extremely close and that's why that's, right. uh, that's why we, we we are also as Polish people so scared and so involved because we know it's not anything fantasy or, or some some word is happening just on a TV screen but it's actually something that we really can feel and and, and we can 
also be scared of. So, um, so I guess as I think I am a contemporary person. I mean, I cannot say that I'm I'm really talking about the history a lot or or some like old heritage. But I think I'm 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 a person coming from a contemporary words as a young, let's say, Polish person, and I. And with my art and with my music, I definitely relate to this. And uh, maybe sometimes because my music is mostly instrumental, I don't title everything. But I feel like I, I, I will never deny that I come from Poland and that I am part of the, the history that's going now on and that I'm not aware of some political issues or, or, or any kind of different events that are going on. And and I want to be involved. I don't want to to cancel where I come from. And and as much as I can also share and talk about things that I have a little knowledge or experience about, I want to do it. And I hope that because I I become a little bit part of our international musical industry, performing and and touring abroad quite a lot, I can talk about these people. Uh, talk about this this events and the situation with people through my music and and bring to them something something different maybe that they don't know or maybe they forgot about that's perfect thank you that's exactly what i wanted to hear <laughs> thanks because it's an abstraction and you know and it's also it's kind of heavy you know it's like you're 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 you've been doing this for a while in many ways but we had the pandemic so you haven't been touring. You've been working on music. So now it's a different world. So now you have this, you know, uh, concept. You're traveling the world, and people uh, like to put things into boxes. And so now you're a classical. Well, not exactly. You're just playing Polish music, Polish classical, Chopin. No, not exactly. <laughs> and so it's it's like an easy. It's an interesting place. And as as I've been listening to your music, I was like, th this could go in many different directions, and it's perfectly timed for where we are right now. And um, so well done. Thank you. Thank you for your thank time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I thank you for answering the difficult questions. I really appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. And what an all. Hey, everybody. Hanya Rani on Sama Sierra Shaked Music and Art. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting us. Please subscribe, like, and share so we can have more of these great artists here on Sama.